Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Texas high school enforces sick new ban, so outraged students call in the feds. A group on Texas high school cheerleaders have won a court case in the Texas Supreme Court to continue to display Bible verses on their banners. Their six-year saga began when in 2012 the school superintendent received a complaint from the Wisconsin-based Freedom from Religion Foundation and as a result, the school district ordered the team to stop displaying the Bible quotes immediately. So the cheerleaders took matters into their own hands and did what all of us Americans should be doing when our First Amendment right to free speech is being trampled on. They took the fight all the way to the Texas Supreme Court. And they won. In January of 2016, the Texas Supreme Court unanimously voted in favor of the cheerleaders, but the battle didn't end there. The liberal activists took the case all the way to the liberal Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, where in September of 2017, they actually backed the Texas Supreme Court's decision. The normally far-left-wing liberal appeals court ruled the cheerleaders' rights to display Bible quotes was private speech and because of this, it should continue without issue. Here is more via the Dallas News. Texas cheerleaders can display Bible verses at high school football games, a state appeals court ruled Thursday. The Ninth Court of Appeals sided with students from Coons High School, who sued after the district barred Christian messages from cheer banners at football games. The cheerleaders' choice to display Bible verses is protected as private speech, the appeals court ruled. We are pleased that once again religious liberty is vindicated and that cheerleaders across the state of Texas have the right to have religious messages on banners at high school football games, Hiram Sasser, general counsel of the Plano-based conservative nonprofit law firm First Liberty, wrote in a news release. No school district should be able to censor, ban, or claim ownership of the private religious speech of its students. Since their legal fight began in 2012, the Coons cheerleaders have received widespread support from Texas top Republicans, including Senators John Cornyn and Ted Cruz, Attorney General Ken Paxton and Governor Greg Abbott. The cheerleaders were previously defended by James Ho, whom President Donald Trump nominated to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals on Thursday, and First Assistant Attorney General Jeff Mateer, who has come under fire after videos surface of him describing transgender children as evidence of Satan's plan and warning that same-sex marriage would lead to polygamy and bestiality. Mateer, who left First Liberty in 2016 to join the office of the Attorney General, was also nominated to the federal bench this month. The case dates back five years, when district officials banned cheerleaders in the Southeast Texas School District from displaying banners with Christian themes. The move was made after the Freedom from Religion Foundation a nonprofit that advocates for the separation of church and state, complained the banners resulted in a publicly funded school district endorsing a specific religion. District officials later decided to allow the banners, but retained the ability to control their content. A district court judge sided with the cheerleaders in 2013. But the appeals court soon after said their lawsuit was moot due to the district's policy change. Eventually, the case was kicked up to the Texas Supreme Court which remanded it back to the appeals court last year. The court's ruling this week found that since cheerleading is not related to the pedagogical concerns of the district, the banners did not amount to government speech. Given the nature of the expressive activity, a hand-drawn, playful paper banner, displayed by cheerleaders engaged in an extracurricular activity, only momentarily before the football team runs through the banner, it is highly unlikely that the banner would appear to those in attendance at the game to contain a message endorsed by the school, the court wrote. Kuntz ISD has not raised substantial disruption of or material interference with school activities as a concern. Kuntz ISD has not pleaded or offered any evidence of disruption or interference. Therefore, we conclude that the cheerleader's speech expressed on the run-through banners is best characterized as the pure private speech of the students. Tom Brandt Attorney for Kuntz ISD, told the Dallas Morning News that his clients had not yet determined their next steps in the case. The district could decide to appeal once again to the Texas Supreme Court. What these cheerleaders did should come as a lesson to all us freedom-loving Americans. When the left attacks our freedom of speech we should never back down and cower. When we give in the left wins and let's face it, when we on the right give in that's the only way the left is able to win since their ideas pretty much stink and are wrong for America in every sense of the word. These cheerleaders are heroes in every sense of the word and they have done more to support the conservative cause than any party has done in ages. They stood up for all our freedoms and they won, even in the Ninth Circuit. 
That's historic. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.